Yes, indeed. Once again, it's on. Yes, indeed. We are here in the historical West End. Like I told you, it's the last community we really got left, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So we're thankful to be here and to be able to uh, reason about topics that's going on right now in this very hour. How we can uh, lubricate our minds first, you know, because really, again, I told you, this is a mental thing for us, you know. Physically, our health is fine. You know what I'm saying? Well, health is great, you know. We're just looking at this thing from another pers person's perspective. When you really look at the numbers of this thing, you'll realize, say, we're not in the numbers, you know? Yeah, we're not in the numbers, you know? We don't even live in Italy like that. We're nowhere in China. Mm. You know, we don't live in Spain. We're neither in Russia. We're in the UK, but we're not in the palace, mm. all right? Because mm. this thing is reaching the palace right now, you know? This thing is reaching all Rome seats, you know? Oh, they have my Rome feeling this heat right now, you know? Yeah. So. It's a good day, you know what I'm saying? It's a good day under the sun because the pollen counts are up and the birds and the bees are still chirping, you know what I'm saying? The homeless is still walking the street healthy and strong, you know what I mean? People are actually looking out for the help, homeless now, looking for them and giving them food in this time. Mm -hmm. they, they, they actually looking out for the homeless more in this time and the homeless is good already because they're comfortable on the earth in creation, you know? <laughs> so following men, you know what I'm saying, in the ways of men will get distracted in this time, you know what I'm saying? It's all about distraction, because the end of the day is we good. And when you check the history and check the science, anybody family sick with this corona right now? Anybody in here family nope. sick with corona? Nope. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, do, you, you know, let me ask you a question like I told you earlier, but I still want this to blast out. When was it ever a problem for us as African people not to come together in numbers? You know what I'm saying? We came here on ships in numbers and still survived. Mm. All right? So therefore, we can survive anything this world gives to offer us. Mm. Our immune systems are stronger than that. Mm. Plus, on top of that, our mental capacity and spiritual capacity will pull us through mm. anything physically we're dealing with. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I want you all to eat that. And we gonna build, we building here with my brethren. I got my brethren, uh, Blue, yes, Blue Pill coming through. Pill yes, in indeed. Crib. Yeah, yeah, this is a good, well. good thing, yes, man. I'm loving that I got my brethren, Hassad. You know, Isaac, the original, here, you know? original, original, original uh, YouTube fanatics right here, you know, because this is a thing you can show you. We can even do this thing globally for you, you know, because the world need to see us united. You know what I mean? This is what really is time for us to do. We're supposed to be coming together more right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be checking on your family more right now mm -hmm. because all the distraction has stopped. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we thankful to be here, man. Rebel talk to him, man. I like my split. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> I just want I want to hear Blue talk, but I want to say uh, just look up Bill and Melinda Gates. You got to follow the sequence of, of germ and money. You feel mm -hmm. me? So try to figure out the clues before they give you the clues yet themselves and all that. Mm -hmm. So you gotta f try to figure out the puzzle yourself. Like you were saying, we are a little stronger. We are way stronger than all other races, if you wanna really? just look really? at it like that. But you're still susceptible to it. You can't just be in the face of it, right? Mm -hmm. So guard yourself like we've been guarding ourselves. Normal <clears throat> hygiene, normal, I wouldn't say social distancing. I, I think we was doing that before we, the corona came because nobody talked to each other. The love ain't really there when we walk around. So, right, that's true, true. That's so true. It, it's not like we wasn't social distancing already. So mm -hmm. just stay strong, get your mind right. Your mind will get you right through this. You got to think harder, think smarter, and, 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 and think black. Your power source is in that. Mm -hmm. so, so we gonna go to blue. What you got? You just gotta tell me how much time I got. You can speak. Now, you know, because my narrative focuses on me um, observing time cycles, you know what I'm saying, and the continuity of time cycles, to me nothing is separate. So, you know, we come from New York, 
and I acknowledge that this is a post 9-11 world that we live in. I also know that we are one year away from the 20th anniversary of 9-11. So we're in the 19th year or that 19th hour. I also know that last year we celebrated the 400 year coronation, right? Of us being in this particular landmass which coincides with Revelation, or should I say Genesis, my bad, right? And that 400 year period that coincides and unites us and brings us into prophecy, whether we wanna be there or not, to me, last year the harbinger, right? Or the, the, the signal of a coming of a change or a thing was when we lost our brother Nipsey Hussle, March 31st, 2019 one day before the astrological new year of april 1st so he died on the last day of the cycle you know what i'm saying that man has roots to the region of africa that we are now here discussing and celebrating right messianic force to the degree that this man represented in his community amongst his people a different alternative like we need to scale down right what these words mean in these terms because we have gotten way too liturgical looking at these particular terms right we know that you know there are major messiahs and there are minor messiahs just like the prophets have different scales or what have you right just the messengers have those as well so somebody who comes into a community and the community only had two options you either shooting jump shots or you pumping crack rock now the child is like oh i could open up back to 90. i could go into tech i could open a clothing store you don't save that child you gave that child another option you've expanded that child's mental scope to say oh I see a different way up out of this situation where nobody else would come. If the Messiah himself came back to the planet, he would have to come to those who are most downtrodden, who need him the most, right? If he landed in LA, he would go to South Central. If he went to South Central, he would go to Slauson and Crenshaw. I've been there. I know exactly what's going on over there, right? Ain't no way up out of that situation. That's not, not only is it a box within a box, they are literally injuncted with the gang injunctions they can't leave a four block radius literally they're literally in a box the police say you can't even move outside of that particular jurisdiction or you're getting locked up so this man come and shows these children how to use their mind to get out of that box and he showed himself through his self-sacrifice on how he was able to do it you know what i'm saying and I know the individual personally. You dig what I'm saying? So I was working with him since 2007 to 2008 when he first got started. Everything he told me he was going to do, he did that and more. Right? And geometry or gematria, should I say, which is the system of taking somebody's name, flipping it to a number, and then going to the numerical frequency of that number. His number is 48, right? 48 means the great. You know what I'm saying? It means star. And it also means jubilee. So, <clears throat> in 2019, when we come into our jubilee year, right? Because that's what the 400-year coronation represented of us being in this particular uh, land mass. You know what I'm saying? And aligning ourselves with biblical prophecy, being the children of Ham, right? And him also coming from that particular region. You dig what I'm saying? Of that particular bloodline. I'm looking at this as a harbinger and then we lost Vaughn Benjamin the same year right so this 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 resonating frequency of the fact that these harbingers or these heralds are leaving this particular plane I'm paying attention to this all last year and I'm taking notes right December 21st come I come back down here on the way down here I got enough time 16 hours on the bus to reason with my own mind right Spirit was like, look, I need you to write for me today and show these people what the true story astrologically is of the sun. Don't badger people about their beliefs 
in the quote unquote, you know, how they get into their Christ on Christmas and all of that. It said, just show them, just teach. You know what I'm saying? Just show them what this is about. Show them what these three days in the grave is about. Show them the analogy, the, the all of the allegories and stuff. So I got on my Instagram and I was just going in. But I'll badger in or, or, or you know, boxing nobody up. Just showing them like, yo, we don't take no time out to pay no respect to the sun. They ain't talking about sun worship. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about acknowledgement. Right? Just acknowledgement. Yo, thank you. Oh, this is your day? Oh, that's what's up. What do you really do for? Oh, I couldn't do this without you. Right? We don't take no time out. We just take time out to knock somebody what they doing and how they choose to do it. Same way the conscious people will talk about how January 1st ain't the new year, but they don't got no celebrations on March 19th, 20th, 21st, all the way up to 28th today, all the way up to April. They don't got no, in, in ceremonial, that's what we used to do. They don't have no acknowledgement on September 11th for the Ethiopian calendar and acknowledgement of that. So in the Ethiopian calendar, it's 2012. We're in the cycles, right? Let's not be dismissive. Because if nobody, us, we can't take God out of this, right? Let them do that. Let them talk about a virus, right? But the elders from the continent, right? Because I belong to different traditional systems. They called me and they said the same thing this man just said. They said, look, this is not to be taken light because this is a spiritual hand in this and there's man's hand in this. You feel me? But they said, don't take things light. Protect yourself, you know, move like you're supposed to move on this particular plane. Because if you survive or when you survive through this, there's glory on the other side of this. But you have to get through it, right? Like how they say in, in the scripture, uh, through the, the pen, through the needle, and the, you know, all that. That's what we're going through, right? In this world, edge people off. This is the changing of a world. This is the destruction of Babylon, yes. But how can we gloat about the destruction of Babylon if we're not putting put options or stops on the destruction of Babylon like like how they do in the stock market. If we not benefiting from the destruction of Babylon, we risk the, the risk of being destroyed with it as well because our people are the ones holding this shit up. Well, the whole thing is, it's really never going to fully go down until we leave this place. You know? it's, we, like you said, we're what's holding it up right now. If we so, actually came together in this day and time right now and leave this place, it would totally collapse. Facts. Without a, without a doubt, you know what I'm saying? And, well, and that's yeah, because when, we, right. we're, we're the real force of really keeping this thing going. But right? let me, yeah, let me tell you what keeps it going. Yes, sir. Stimulus check. Mm, yep. They play a mean game of chess. Yes, sir. They didn't even get to read this legislation or they didn't take a vote on the legislation on the floor. They just passed it through. Because right, right, right. they know how important it is because this thing is held together by the uh, belief in, of the people in this particular system and their allegiance. There's a whole religion here called Americanism and it trumps all other religions here. These people pledge allegiance to this place. They do not want it to fall, right? So in the hearts and the minds of men, melanated men in particular, we are the ones who can change this particular dynamic because we have the strongest connection to the magnetic field, black women in particular, right? We're not utilizing. We was prepared for these times forever. You know what the ancestors would do to be here for this time? And we sleepy. We like this. We not mobilizing. They police forces are incapacitated. Their military is incapacitated. Their core systems incapacitated. You dig what I'm saying? We don't have no contingency plans on how to move. You feel me? The food is next. This is the time to make a move. And I'm not speaking like that. I'm just saying, like, if, if, if even on some Moses shit, if you want to lead your people up out of her, now would be the time to do it. If I got to walk to Ethiopia and take a sailboat over. And you're on the right, 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 right path. And I love that. Give thanks, man. Light it, light it up, man. We got herbs right here to burn, man. Listen, listen, listen. Because they scared, you know. Because the boy's sick. You want to be sick, you know. Because the boss house burning down, we want our house to burn down. So we realize that since Obama time, it's so many Uncle Toms has risen up. So we get to the point now, check the science though, even before I go there. Hold on. The stimulus check is cut for 75, right? Thousand dollars. You could work eight hours a day, five to six days a week, and you still ain't gonna see over 50. 
all right so who is the check really cut for at the end of the day we ain't even in the category of where this money is going to <laughs> when you really really do the math and science of it so we need to be focused on what we're going to do for ourselves we got the money right now because we got the power what we don't have is the unity what we don't have is the organization we're not organized it was a brother by the name of fred hampton who said black people we are not outnumbered we are only out organized and that's where we at right now you know what I mean? And once we get to the point of organizing and realizing we got to spend our money amongst each other, mm -hmm. taking back our power while we can now, because we can't spend it with the white man, mm -hmm. that's the point that's going on right now in this time, you know. You can't even spend your money with the man right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Organized. But Black took what the eye is saying, man. We could, we, could, we could close up shop, right? We could, we could create a border in our own community mm -hmm. and trap the dollar. With force, with force, with force. Yes, right? Yes, Military style. We could trap the dollar in our own community and in less than 30 days, we'd be up circulating that dollar. In less than 30 days, we would be up if we was trapping that dollar. Mm -hmm. You can't leave up out of here. You feel me? You gotta do business right in the community. They got Wadada down the block, she open. Mm -hmm. An essential, you feel me? They not flooding in there, they still going to Target they still going to Costco's. They still going. They still taking their money out of the community. But they can't go to the nail shop. But they can't go to the nail. So they're not oh. coming. So they're not coming. <laughs> That's why they're not coming outside. The nails done. The Chinese ain't open. It's yeah. not essential now. But look, but we not even we not even making a play on that industry. But we was complaining about it for 15 years about the Korean man is taking all of the money. But where's the black nail salon at? Throw, I see some videos where they were throwing rocks at the man window. Now they're begging to get in the door. Look. Because they can't get the beauty supply. Like you know what Look. I mean? It's a beauty supply they're worried about. You know, Look. That ain't going to supply your life, your life line. Uh, <laughs> I, I come from Flatbush, Brooklyn. No doubt, right? Okay. For real, for real. Big up, Brooklyn. So I, went, I went home. No doubt. I think it was oh, 2017 or 28. One of them, the, 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 the last big protest that we did for the nail salon right mm, when when Nostrand. when the dude was yeah on nostrin right 888 nostrin avenue during the lionsgate portal opening on august 8th mm. right the the dude the, the 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 lady in the nail salon was beat, beating the grandmother with a broom yeah. oh whoa. yeah i remember that i remember that no doubt in front of her grandkids right mm -hmm. so we marched on the spot Got the spot shut down. Right, right, Went right. to shut their other business down. The police was protecting them. Right? right, right, right. An 11 year old little girl came with the bullhorn. They got it on tape, so I never filmed it. Right. With the bullhorn, wow. chatted down Babylon. The sky opens up. Wow. And torrential rain came pouring down. Do you know that Korean packed up? And was, when I say Korean, I don't mean just one. I mean everybody in that building. They was out of there in under five minutes because they knew what they was looking at. We ain't know what we was looking at. Wow, Come to find out the little girl name was Isis. Now, wow, August 8th, mm -hmm. right, was the Lionsgate portal. The Lionsgate portal is when Sirius B directly lines up with the, um, the Great Pyramid, right, a Giza, like they showed you in the Raiders of the Log Sark, and the light shines down and it goes and it hits... You know what I'm saying? What would be the arc? The arc would normally be there, and it would hit it directly. They showed you that in the Raiders of the Lost Ark. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Sirius B is Sothis. Sothis is Osset. Osset is Isis. What's the coincidence that this little girl, who ain't had no fear whatsoever in her heart, she was like, move out the way. If you won't do it, I will. Got on the board. Sky opens up. Down, I mean, the, the shit just, the, the, it just, judgment. The police was out of there. The China man was out of there. You feel me? We might have held up, but we, we just don't know who we are. We don't know our powers. We don't know who's around us. We don't know. We're now cognizant of timing, right? The unity fact is, is this is that if we was never unified, you feel me? Now is not going to magically bring us together because the pain is not severe enough. They don't see blood in the streets yet. They don't see heads rolling. 
we still in denial about what it is not giving credits to say yeah if this is judgment it is babylon why are we not taking cover why are we not getting out of the way you know what i'm saying why are we not mobilizing why because all it takes is to say yo i got a plot of land somewhere in the country you build up your perimeter it's for the babies they got to be safe not only from the the, the 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 wretchedness of babylon from what potentially could be we don't know what this particular situation is we don't know what this virus is we don't know if this if they're gonna unleash the zombies out here and i'm just saying in, in in a critical situation they got you on lockdown 30 40 days you only plan for 10 or 14. what you think is going to start happening to your body on the 40th day and you seeing your baby dying you're going to pick that thing up right the only thing that you could eat is them chopper bullets you're going to go looking for it and wherever it looked like it's at because this is what these niggas been trained to do out here you feel me especially take from their own so we even owe it to our babies and our own future to say look I put the energy towards mobilizing this shit. It's not going to happen quarantining in an apartment with the nigga down the block in the projects. You ain't going to reach him now. He's on warrior mode. He's on hunt mode. He's on he's on demon time, they said. The young boys is out here talking about they on demon time. You feel me? And, 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 and Satan and Satan and the devil or whatever you call it is fully, fully manifested itself. You understand? He doing it every day on TV. Yo, I don't know what's going on. You niggas need to figure this out. I'm, I'm good. Y'all niggas need to socially distance. Everybody's right next to each other like one inch. Like they plant all of the, everything our ancestors told us about, they're telling lies to your vision. You can see it in 3D. And our people are still sitting in their living rooms looking at the TV every day thinking that Trump is going to turn the corner. And our children is in the background looking at us like, you got to be crazier and, 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 and sicker than this nigga. Because you you looking at him. Why? Because we have been primed right. yeah. through Americanism mm -hmm. to look for leadership from the president. Right. We are emotionally invested in this thing succeeding. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Obama started it. That's when it we was really before started. Obama. Oh, what's when we jumped fully aboard? Yeah. Obama, bro, Obama, bro, bro. Yeah, let me tell you Obama something. Obama really set us in there like we let me had tell you to go something. fully enforced with everything the president said. I mean, because I've been waiting for this one for a minute. Yeah. Let me tell you something, okay? In the 1970s, mm -hmm. right, after the CIA had commissioned a white paper, right, to shut down black music because they said that black music was the biggest threat. I'm going to tell you what the biggest threat was. They said, look, James Brown and these niggas is going revolutionary. Um, what you call it? Uh, uh, Marvin Gaye went revolutionary. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for real. Sam Cooke went right. So they're, they're, they're gauging how this is affecting society. Mm -hmm. And then what happened is that it spilled over into Jamaica. Before that, they was listening to Bob and them. They was looking at spaghetti westerns, though. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. They was idolizing the western man by looking at spaghetti westerns, buying into... I grew up in Biltmore. I know about the High Plains Drifter and Bounty and all of them. I know... You feel me? And the elders told me what time it is. They're like, yo, these niggas had a grip on us. We bought into white male masculinity, which really don't exist. He is homoerotic. There's no masculinity in him. But that phallus, that pistol that he had, we bought into this concept that he was more man than we was. And we bought into this fantasy, the TV. I mean, think about it. How old you think TV is? TV is not ancient. It started like in the 50s, so we don't even know the psychological effects of it because that experiment is still playing itself out. We're looking at somebody. The brain can't tell the difference between what you're looking at in reality. It can't differentiate. It all looks the same to the brain. So we think this man is more than he is. We idolize his culture. We want to be next to him. We want to be part of him. You know what I'm saying? Until we got a dose of what it looks like on the other side of things, Bob and, and Peter Tosh and Bunny Wheeler pick it up terrified this government they got the the cia papers came out they said you know what would what would have catapulted right we're talking about the shit that Mao Zedong be talking no no sun tzu went in the world without firing a bullet they said if bob marley goes on tour with stevie wonder in 1980 that was the biggest threat to national security that was the biggest threat because they said if they turned Stevie radical, yeah. 
it was all over. It was all over. If they turned Stevie radical, the, the soul that came from him. So the CIA commissioned Harvard to do a white paper report. Harvard said, look, we have to intercept them, right? And this is from a book called Blacks to the um, Black. Damn, it's uh, Ross out in um, Philly wrote it. Shout out to Ross Ben. We're going to get the name of this book because the brother laid it out. They got Clive Davis from CBS Records, right? Because they said, look, you have to intercept their sound, compromise their sound, allow them to make the first record the way that they want. But on the second album, start bringing in the techno to take the soul of the music out. They, so CBS Records went and got Clive Davis. And he went and got Gamble and Huff. They attacked the Philly sound first, neutralized them. You dig what I'm saying? I was even looking at the documentary with um with 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 Miles Davis, he was on um Columbia, right? And they started neutralizing them, changing the music and the frequency and the tone, so you get disco coming now, right? And then the thing that they had to do to crush reggae is they put Chris Blackwell in, who was another Harvard graduate and CIA trained, right? So and then they had they had Ciega in there. And what Ciega did is Ciega commissioned other Roman Catholic students, right? The shower posse. So the same people who was holding them down on the political spectrum, right? They're giving them automatic weapons and sending them to New York with the Coke or the, or the, or the um, America with the Coke. Because they was telling me, nigga, that crack cocaine was in the Bronx before Freeway Ricky had it in L.A. It was raining crack cocaine in the Bronx in the 80s. Through the shower posse. You feel me? So at a time when people wasn't even, they wasn't, they wasn't shooting, they wasn't moving with sticks like that. I lived in flat, ain't nobody seen what the shower posse came with. You dig what I'm saying? So they knock Bob off and then they bring in Yellow Man. And then the slack starts. And then they bring in Dance Hall. And then the episodes of rap. And then you get hip hop not long after that. And we would have think if they crush, if they crush uh, Roots and Culture Reggae, Right in the early 80s, what you think? They went to sleep and fell back when hip-hop started? It hadn't even started, but they already had the whole thing laid out by the time it got there. All of the executives was the same ones. Clive Davis was still in the game. Look what he did in how, yeah, look what the, the Jews and the Italian mobsters, you feel me? They was just waiting for them when they got there, and look how they flipped them, right? Because uh, Clive Davis flips Andre Harrell, Andre Harrell flips Puff. Puff, another Roman Catholic student, brings another Roman Catholic student, Biggie Smalls from Jamaica, Roots Jamaican, into the mix. You know what I'm saying? And then they start the six-pointer frequency of slackness, the Roman Catholic, not the six-pointer frequency of what the I represent. You feel me? Converting it from the five-pointer frequency of what 5% is in Islam represented in hip-hop before that. We're talking frequency. They did this thing, and we still live in the dream. This is, we are living still within Biggie Small's dream. You dig what I'm saying? This was all CIA sponsored. This was all allowed to, 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 to push what Crowley and them said. Crowley said, look, I will conquer the youth culture through rock music and cocaine. And he said, I'm going to create an androgynous race where it's going to be gender neutral. He created the whole gender confusion. And it was all due through the drugs and the music. Hence the fact that you seen. And I was in New York. I was I was in the parties with all of these dudes when this was talking about. I'm not talking from a a, a, a research perspective where I'm outside reading books. I'm right here. You feel me? I was at all of them puffy parties. You dig what I'm saying? I was on for and there with the dudes that gave Biggie in them game. I was with A. Rashid where he was selling crack for for, for Fat Chris. And all of these dudes before the rapping started. You dig what I'm saying? So I seen all of this. I seen it all start. I seen it progress. I seen it come to the point that we're at today. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just saying that this, this thing has been cold. No, where, where they at now? Right? Just I'm just saying. Just look and see if if yeah if the if the if the artists are not CIA agents or if they're not signed to labels who are CIA operation fronts. Where they at now? Because the people is in a crisis. And I ain't seen one cent donated. I ain't seen one person pop up on the boulevard. And even with a face mask. Jumping out the Bentley like yo. I got toilet paper. I, you know what I'm saying? That's a commodity right now. You can flip that. White is white. You could go from. If you're a hustler. You might not go from white coke to white paper. Yeah, for real. <laughs>
You can still you can flip toilet paper if you're looking for a hell of a flip. It's true, it's true. But they're not even doing nothing. They ain't putting on for the people. They know where to be found. In the middle of a crisis where all the thing that people need is resources and inspiration. You feel me? And it's a prolonged crisis. They sounded the alarm. But the, the lockdown ain't started yet. They've been bluffing. And the people still ain't coming. You still ain't get no relief. You ain't get a... Look, you get a... They ain't even, I'm just saying they ain't even send, they ain't even send a they ain't even send a tweet out. It ain't like I can see saying, "All right, yo, yo, you, you scared Idris and them got it." You might be like, "Yo, this, this is inflicting stars and celebrities." I ain't coming, at, nigga. You couldn't even get it on Instagram. You can't, I, you can't trace a tweet. These niggas is true trying to sell slack music. Yo, my album coming. That that them days is good. We we not even on that. We not there no more. Everybody who has a voice in the 70s and the 60s reflected with the time. A, 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 a true sign of a musician is you reflect the times you in. That's what a musician is. What's going on? So what's the what's the penalty for treason? Because our ancestors wouldn't have it no other way. What's the penalty for treason? Because they're going to come back out and start asking for the children's coins. They were selling the children's Molly and Percocet. Right? Ain't none of them prescription drugs gonna work against whatever this thing is. You feel me? And it's gonna make them even more slower and dumber that they can't respond in due time to save their lives. And those children represent the future. So we not putting up the type of fight that's supposed to be called for at this time for people who have been waiting for liberation forever. And Master Sick? And you at his fucking bedside? You taking his temperature? Huh? I'm putting the pillow over his head. They can't do it. They scared. They scared because Massa got to get better to take care of him. Massa got him by the balls because Massa provides food, clothing, and shelter, the sustenance. So I said, look, on December 21st when I started my campaign, I didn't even know what I was fully on to. But it was telling me, look, next year is Return of the Golden Era. You know what I'm saying? I already started selling gold last year. So I'm like, yeah, gold, sun, synonymous. Oh, I just did a, uh, uh, I just did an album called Christ Consciousness. Well, I'm talking about the black Christ. I'm talking about Christ Consciousness Energy. Well, I'm talking about the eye. You feel me? Because I done read the book of Enoch. And I know that they talking about, look, I done seen... I didn't see the uh with 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 what he described as the wheel in New Jerusalem. It's a diamond shaped craft full of light. Right? And I can show you the videos of it. Why are we not having these conversations? I didn't have communication with the craft and it was like, look, if we was to demobilize, they said because your people is under siege by iron and lead. Right? The toughest, most respected Motherfuckers who have been around since time has fucking ever existed is cowering right now to their own creation under the threat of iron and lead, which is Mars and Saturn, which is the military and the police, right? Because the police got the lead and the military got the iron. They talking about tanks. They said if we demobilize the tanks and the bullets, would your people fight then? Or are you still going to need us to clean us up? Because if we got to come as the cleanup crew, we sweeping everybody up. We can't differentiate one from the other. We're going to flip this thing if we got to intercede. So they've been waiting like this, impatiently. Y'all niggas going to man up yet? What we got to do? Oh, they trying to kill y'all. Let's intercept that and stop this. We still want to see a fair fight. These motherfuckers been trying to do the most diabolical shit to us, and it has been intercepted by what we call divine interventions. You understand? They call them now invisible enemies. The invisible enemy. Who are they calling now? Oh, we being attacked. We don't know from where. We can't see who the enemy is. We just know. You know what I'm saying? This shit is taken out. They hit the Pope. No, this shit is. They know what they're looking. They know what they're looking at. And they cleaning it up. They cleaning it up. Oh, how this shit hitting Boris? Yeah. It's judgment. Why we not calling it what it is? It's judgment. And it's prophecy. You feel me? Give thanks for the sound, man. More heat, man. Blaze it up. That's my script. Yes, there. You're going to love that. But my point is saying it's the same fullness because the time we're in now, 
is a time for us more to centralize and organize ourselves, you know what I mean? And because we can actually lead this place, you know, together. Like I told you, we can try this land, you know. We ain't got to worry about no ship. You That's see, it. you see this it'll land here, it'll you this, this land here mm. is the same Russian, Russian land mass as Alaska, and this is Russia over here. Mm. You know, we ain't got no problem with the Russians, so we can travel on in Africa, mm. you know what I'm saying, by land. We ain't got to worry about no ship. You know what I mean? We can organize and mobilize and get out these people's place. You know what I'm saying? When we really come down to it. They've been thinking for us so long. Drifts. Yeah. Drifts to bring you over. Yeah. I mean, the reality of it is, this is a little piece of uh, land mass that separates that. Okay. No, <laughs> it I'm ain't no... On, on that water, Yeah. they have natural drifts uh -huh. that will bring you over into the continent of West, into the continent right into West Africa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the thing is, is, is like when you when you really check it, when you really check it, these people were 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 really crafted because remember say remember say uh, Christopher Columbus never came to America, you know, that man died up in here, you know, up in Brazil in in, in the Caribbean. So when you get to the fullness now, the man the man went down here like this because it's easier to coast from the land of Africa right to Brazil. Then go and say you're going all the way here. You know what I'm saying? This was the, the, the link to the land. And this actually fits right up in there. You know what I mean? When you really look at it. So it was all one land mass at one anyway. That's where the magnetic drift comes from. Uh, the fact that the vein, and you know, mm -hmm. it's quantumly entangled. Like me and my brother's twins, he could be in West Bubble Fuck. That's and true. So the connection mm -hmm. is the same way these continents exist. The fact that they found flora in Georgia and Alabama, mm, yeah. right? True. In Florida, that's identical to the flora and the fauna on the continent. Uh, this is what the Moors say. This is North of Mexico. Mm -hmm. This is Northwest Africa. Yeah. It is drifts that would take us to the continent. We could go to Brazil. Should we could go to Mexico? Yeah. We don't want to go nowhere. Look. Mexico is nothing but a border separating America from Mexico. It ain't nothing. No, it's all landmass. We can go to Mexico and drive down to Brazil, right? We can go right through Costa Rica and, and, and Panama City and ride up right up in there through Colombia straight into Mex I mean, to Brazil. So that's just them putting borders up. But we, we, we as ourselves, as a people, we still have to come out of Babylon. That's my point is, you've seen it. Y'all see, all seen it too. The little thing where they had the, the, the little line with the ant in it. You know what I mean? And the ant wouldn't go outside the line because they drew the circle around them. So all he did was just go around the circle. That's our mind state. Right. When we don't look at this as land mass, we're looking at this as countries, you know what I'm saying, and borders. When it's all land mass, it's us from beginning to time. That's how we've been moving, you know what I mean? That's why Harriet got up out of here and went to Canada because she had to cross this land mass and get up out of here, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We still up in there thinking, yeah. say, we got to wait for something to happen here. Yeah. What, what, you got to want to leave. You know what I mean? I've been. Even had the guy had brought up, uh, you know, Harriet in the uh, year 1850, it was called a, a Fugitive Slave Act. So in the year 1850, you see how, like, if you reach past Pennsylvania and then you'll be free. Mm -hmm. You say, but then after 1850, they were saying any brethren or sister, even if you're past Pennsylvania, you see what I'm saying? And if you're even thought to be a runaway, you ha you are no longer like you have to be sent back down south to your slave master. Mm -hmm. So after 1850, they said because Canada is another country, mm -hmm. you sight. Right. So then, so from here, they was like, yo, fire blaze, Pennsylvania now. So it's actually congregations, even if y'all know like the AME Church and all that. Yo, all of that is starting up north. You sight. So like, yeah, man. Just yeah, to touch yeah, on the yeah, on the Canada vibe. Like, <laughs> yes, I, I, I just said yeah, you know? yeah, man, Calgary, <laughs> right? Yeah, Calgary. There's a bunch of places that melanated people went and found it up there. The the, the melanated dude that started the Cowboys. Mm. He was in Calgary. Uh, he made his way all the way up, all the way through, ta all the way up through this country up in there. Uh, they showed that in the Harriet movie how they went up there too. You feel me? Nova Scotia. That's how melanated people right. got in Nova Scotia. You feel me? We've been everywhere. Our people have moved everywhere when they didn't have mobilization and movement. Now we got whips. We got V12s. You know what I'm saying? With six all these cylinder. We got, yeah. And we driving in circles. We ain't going nowhere. Niggas got private jets and they ain't flying nowhere. 
that melanin Everybody's people landed. been all over the earth already. It's them that caught up. You know, when you really check the name of places, they really renamed so much places. No, no, you know what I mean? Within the original state, we you, you said it perfectly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he said it as well, right? Mm -hmm. It's the same experiment they show you with the elephant when they tie the rope, right? If they got your mind, it don't matter what you acquire materially, right? You're not in the mindset to, you either want to be in the house or in the field, but nobody's thinking like a runaway, right? right? Nobody want to run away because they like run away to where? If they seen anywhere else on the planet as their home, these niggas got all the bread in the world, some of them. Why they not there? Why they still sitting sedentary, right? Non-movement. They not. They don't even have the mindset to move. They have shut them down mentally to incapacitate movement mentally. Where it affects their feet. Their feet can't even move because their mind refuses to move. And now their body's on lockdown. Right? That's what they talk about, the mental prison. We're looking at the mental prison. Mm -hmm. And the people the same way. Same way in New Orleans when they told you, right? And they saw this a poverty mindset. Mm -hmm. Right? And I'm not talking necessarily about the people, but I have to use the people to show the example. Okay. And Katrina. Mm -hmm. Right? Yo, the warning came. The heralding came. The sounding of the alarms, the blowing of the trumpet, all of that came. Mm -hmm. right? Right, right, right? People were still sedentary. Right? I, I'm too big to move. Right? This is my mama's couch. I can't leave my mama's couch. Right, right, right. Holding on to sentimental value things that are not reflective of our need to persevere and, and, and exist to replace shit. Then we go, that shit is replaceable. You feel me? And if you lose, it's just a memory. But if you lose your life, right? If man so gains the world but loses his life, what use is it? You holding on to mommy's fucking teddy bear. You dig what I'm saying? You underwater. And y'all eating by alligators and shit. Like, what, what use is that? So we are people who survived through Katrina. We survived through 9-11. We survived through Hurricane Harvey. Just a little few. Because we got to see this shit on TV. And we still ain't have a contingency plan. Right? What does the Most High do with a people like that? Right. Scripture have talked about it repeatedly. What about revelation? Right? Yeah. Revelation, this is trial by fire. What is corona? Right, right. What is corona? Mm. Corona. Corona's the sun. No, see, we're getting terms mixed up. Right? right. right. We live during a time where you have to be able to decipher right. Right. is your alignment with the corona rising or the coronavirus? Because Virus is anti. Corona's son. It's the anti son or the antichrist. Right? And then the corona rising is the coming of the Christ. It's the second coming or the second son. Delbert talked about it. You feel how hotter the sun is? They said that the sun is going to be 10 times as much UV radiation as coming from the sun this year. And there was a solar eclipse the day after Christmas. And there's going to be a solar eclipse on the summer solstice, right? So I don't have to be an idiot. I study metaphysics. I was prepared long enough, long enough to know that is the second or that is the second coming. Because the sun and the solar eclipse, the solar eclipse is in, in it's embellic, it's symbolic of the Christ. You dig what I'm saying? Even if we're talking with symbolism as above, so below. So the energy is on the planet because the, 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 the melanated people have to make a full lap. It's a jubilee year. The jubilee year is the party. It's the celebration. What happened at the end of December? Huh? Ghana. What is Ghana known as called? Huh? Yeah. They went home. They went back to the Gold Coast. The children of the sun returned back to the sun coast or the Gold Coast because sun and gold is all synonymous. And the one and the sun is synonymous. This is all symbolism and motifs for us to see in these days and times. He who has eyes shall see. This is 2020 vision. Right? So this is, you have to make a full cycle through your jubilee year. Then you come into your coronation year where now you get crowned 
and you assume the throne that has been abdicated for 400 years. Right? The day that they put Harvey Weinstein in jail for 23 years, there was a 500-year statue in the cemetery right outside of Los Angeles, right? A 500-year statue um, capsided and broke up, and it was a statue of David. There was a replica of the statue that Michelangelo did of David, which we know is a false depiction of David. So Weinstein and all of the synagogue of Satan, right, come from the house of David. Or this is the, the, the throne that they have usurped. Hence the fact that Peter Rosenberg is in his feelings because he got fire put under him by Jay Electronica, right? The other day when he puts that out in the music, which that also was a heralding because now he edified as a messenger, he edifies the messenger, right? During a time when the messenger was under turmoil because of the documentary about Malcolm X. But there would be no Malcolm X without Elijah. We can't allow Babylon to separate these men. Right. Ross Ben said this year is not about either or it's about both. It's quantum. Right? right? So I fucks with Elijah and Malcolm. And I understand the faults in both of them. But they was both necessary. You dig what I'm saying? And Elijah still reforming men to this day by evidence of J. Electronica. It happened right after Mercury retrograde. Mercury is the messenger because that's Gabriel. That's Jabril. Right? And a messenger is the one who comes with the word. The microphone does that. You dig what I'm saying? So all of the signs is there. All of the symbolism is there. We looking for it in ways in which we understand it based on ancient books. Right? But look, we can't allow ourselves to say that we live in a world where the devil is always current and God is so ancient. Everything that we read about the God is historical. Right? We reading about the past. What's his current place? Can you show me? Right? Where he put where his points at from last night? Because I can show you the devil's points from last night. I can show you. He, his fucking church is open 24 7. Right? No, I'm just saying. They on TV? Right? It's a box. It's a box. He has put the world into a box within boxes within boxes. All four corners that you look at, he's there. His church exists. It's Americanism. His church lives within the temple of man. The hearts mm -hmm. and the minds of men True. is where his church is, is, is constantly carried. Right. The Pope is out of business. He even know it. Yes. He like, these niggas is crazy. Pump like, I don't fuck with you. I don't need you. Americanism is stronger than Catholicism right now. Mm -hmm. Right? These niggas can't do it without us. We got the niggas. They destroyed Rome. They destroyed Spain. Right? That's the energy. The ancestors coming back. The Moors. You call it everywhere that they put hands and feet on the fucking moors. Right now they're being inflicted, right? In particular, the patron saint of the patron saint Corona is the saint of diseases and viruses, and that comes from North Italy. All of this is Google You understand what I'm talking about? All of this is Google right now. To the point that even when I show you my phone, I called it last night, right? The brother probably read the post. He could say, I had to write it as a fictional script. I said, I imagine a fictional script where this virus attacks the military and the police simultaneously. And there's a band of reincarnated panthers that know exactly what to do at this time. And here they hit all the soft spot and nerve centers and snatch the financial center and bring the country to its knees in under 48 hours and the president got to negotiate with them, right? Because they can't send the military in. What the fuck happens the next day? The military is inflicted with the virus. The police is incapacitated. They don't come to work no more. I'm getting the stories from around the nation. When niggas is like, yo, the streets is not policed that night. Shit is wild style out here. Right? You got to be able to enforce and protect your own because they not here. <laughs> those, those you you dig what I'm saying? Yes, Even <laughs> my 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 number is 44. This is my number that I communicate mm -hmm. with with with. You know, when Most High want to show me a sign, I see them 44. So I wake up today and it's 44 people. 44 of the um. I, wait, let me just read this shit so it could be accurate and on record. All right, one 144 is 44 because in Gematria. 
the word 44 equals 144 and the word april 4th equals 144 and 12 times 12 is 144 you know what i'm saying and 21 times 21 is 441 so this whole aspect of the 144,000 um, uh, the, the minutes in the day is 1,444 minutes in a day, right? 24 hours. So they split the clock. You dig what I'm saying? That's deep. I didn't know that. 133 USL is 44 Marines confirmed with coronavirus, right? Right after I wrote the article last night. Last night article, they were saying this, right? We're fucked. Aircraft carrier outbreak sends troops scrambling. You understand? We played ourselves. So the story of all fucking time is going to be told when they write a book about these times and they be like, yo, them niggas were sleeping. They ain't even have a plan to move. Everything that they asked for happened and they wasn't ready. They wasn't ready. They wasn't ready for the throne. They don't, they not really real. They not bout it, bout it, about taking the throne. They want the fucking crumbs and the peanuts, but they don't want the glory of the most high. They don't want the glory of the most high. They want the penance of the most high. They want to be under fucking deodorant of the most high. They don't want to be the most high. That's our judgment. And the, the, the people are going to have to pay for that. They're going to have to pay for that. Because we dropped the ball as, as, as the body of melanated people. It's 45 million of us in this country. Right? And they say a billion of us on this planet. We're supposed to be unified. As a melanated mind. Fire burning. I mean, the women just like giving them the script. This is all you got to think about. Just chant this shit for an hour. Get online in the mirror, in the black mirror. This is where you do your magic at. This shit is a scrying board, right? You go into this motherfucker, this black cellulose, this cyber, and this is where you scry. You do your magic. This is how I'm doing the magic, right? I can't even get this away to niggas. They can't figure it out. I'm going to tell these niggas every possible way what the fuck I'm doing without openly declaring what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? And I got to get visited by the MIB. Niggas going to laugh at me when that happened. They're not going to be there to defend me. And I'm like, yo, I'm giving these niggas the business. Look. But I got to jump out there and explain it like figuratively for niggas to come with all of your flaws and shit. Oh, that, you, you can't do that because I knew you to. Come on now. Like, it's going down. Listen, how it's do they, going how down. they fight a war when they can't even stand 10 feet next to each other? Mm. Facts. Nobody asked themselves they can't, that. They can't, they can't even go right now and right. do an MMA fighting right now. They can't do it. So you know you what's going to happen? <laughs> They're going to start flipping <laughs> on them, buddy. Right? We're yeah. in March right now. We are in the months of, of war. Yes, sir. Mm. Right? Mm. Three weeks. Give it three weeks. Somebody's going to launch. Mm. All it takes is one. All it takes is one, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They're already setting it off on them in Iraq right now. Mm -hmm. And I report that. They setting it off. Because <laughs> dude and them was telling the article, they like, yo, they said they're deploying us around the world and they're scrambling the plans and sending us over here. Then my man sent me the pictures. He lived in Germany. He like, look at these niggas. They're over here now. They're over in Germany, right? All of that, like how they showed the tanks going down the streets in LA, they got tanks down the streets. U.S. tanks in Germany. They got U.S. tanks going all around the place. They can't even find a place Texas. to go home. They running. Mm -hmm. They going back. Oh, it's like every time they tell us to go here, they got to switch the plans. We, it's shit going on that we not cognizant of. Because there's so much news. What's your question? <clears throat> what about the internet? You think they can shut it down? Bro, there's a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot going on with that. And because this has now become our primary source of communication and we haven't taken no time to work on telepathy, right? Which we could practice. We could practice on the phone. Yo, son, I was thinking this thought for 10 minutes. Did you pick it up? What, what number am I thinking of? We could play them fucking games if you want. These simple games strengthen mental telepathy, right? And let you know if you wanted something. Because you are, if you that dude and you start getting tighter with it, then you the dude that can float whole motherfucking thoughts, ideas, and plans telepathically without I got it I know exactly what to do it's gonna come in your dream right it's gonna do all that spooky shit that they keep telling us is spooky mm -hmm. and pseudo yeah. right those are our powers yeah. them the shits you need you need to come online yeah. the, if the internet was mimicked after you where is your internet power because we have them right I could finish my brother's sentences you dig what I'm saying I be knowing what people be thinking people say I pop up in their dreams and I'm showing them shit you feel me 
So I'm like, we got to be warriors on the astral plane. I mean, we really have to be willing to sacrifice this hus if we want to get this shit done. And I'm just saying, that's, I'm just saying, like, don't be suicidal. I'm saying have no fucking fear whatsoever because your attachment to this shit is locking you down in fear. And that's what is crippling niggas. A uh, uh, 800 foot motherfucker that want to fit in a four foot cage voluntarily when they fucking snap their fingers, this nigga's crawling in. You know what that's tantamount to? These motherfuckers coming off of quarantine and wanting to go back to work. I ain't want to go back to work. You supposed to fight with you. Nah, I'm cool. I work from the crib. If anything, I pulled this shit off. I got to come back in there. I don't want to go back in there. Let me do it from the crib. I can watch my kids. You know what I'm saying? My shit was more productive. Make that case. Don't run back in the office. You're going to run back in a box. And you, they, you showed yourself that you could be a little bit more free. Get up when you want. Eat what you want. You just, just Yeah, this shit is work, but it's like, you know, it ain't that stressful on the body. I'm at the crib. I'm chilling. Doing this shit in my PJs. Smoking a spliff. You dig what I'm saying? They're experiencing a different level of shit now that, okay, so there's a level of the internet to also represent the freedom because we can utilize it, right? Look. Every fucking child is home now. Why them niggas who was wanting to build schools ain't online teaching the babies if all the fucking babies is on the computer now? Where them niggas at? Where them niggas just raised million dollars in the community to build physical edifices, brick and mortar, talking about, I got this education for your baby. Why you ain't teaching the babies now? You got a captive audience, right? You got their attention. They in the crib. They on the phone. You were just going live talking about Kobe Bryant a month ago, right? Niggas be going live 2 in the morning talking to shorties. I'm saying these niggas, man. I'm saying these niggas. It's time. I'm just saying, man. It's, I'm not, no disrespect. No disrespect. My nigga, you, you, you my brother. I have no disrespect, I'm just saying, like, because these are the questions that's going to be asked. This is the stuff that history is going to be written about. When they review our generation and our time, they like, where was the voices? Where was the leadership? You have a phone, you can teach the babies now. They will come out of this. You give them two weeks of work. Two weeks of that work, you will not have the same babies no more. This is the most critical time ever. And we lay back. Niggas is chilling. Netflix. Niggas Netflix and quarantining and chilling. Yo, I needed this break. You know, you had mad fucking breaks, my nigga. You been on a break all your life. Right. What you talking about? You needed a break to reevaluate a break. Uh, right. You need a break to reevaluate a break, uh, nigga. I don't need to see D nice spin for five hours. I get it. <laughs> I went to them parties. Been there, done that. <laughs> I got the T-shirt. That's crazy. They Real talk. Yeah, club quarantine. <laughs> they giving energy to this shit. Look, oh, yeah. and these niggas are saying, I'm like, where they quarantined at? They, Cause they quarantined in Italy. Where you quarantined in New York? I mean, where in the States are you quarantined at? That you can't go outside. What the fuck is going on? Where, you on the bottom of New York? Cause they said that's the epicenter. Why them niggas quarantining? I mean, come out on your porch with the light sword if anything, but you put, you cooped up in the crib. Come outside, get some fresh air. The, the sun's out. The homeless out there is out there every day. Every day. And then none of them got the corona. Every day, none of them got the corona. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's going on with that? <laughs> and spread it between, but, but between a community. Why are the people who got the fancy cribs got it? And the air filtration systems. And, 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 and the bread of water filters and shit like that. Why, why? How come they got it? And the homeless don't? Right, right. right? They've built a natural immunity to BS. <laughs> right, you can't sell them. You can't sell them tickets no more. They're not looking on TV looking to see what Trump say. <laughs> they like life is normal, and I still got a forage for my food. Exactly. You dig what I'm saying? Something. Let me hold something. We gonna give him some after the show. I gave Shorty everything I had in my pocket today when I seen her. You feel me? So I'm like. It's, 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 it's just, you know, it's bewildering that, you know what I'm saying, that we could be at this particular present day and time and these conversations are not ones that we're having across the board, the mandated ones, you know, counsel. Like, so what if they looking at us? They're looking at us and they listen to us anyway. Give them that work. Hey, give, them give them that work. Yeah, give them something to look at. You know what they never see, though? They don't see real men. They don't see real men. 
they never see real men talking to them on television at all. So when you look at the narrative of what's going on, now their schools are closed. Because, you know, they were teaching the children pure homosexuality. You know what I mean? They done opened up a whole next bathroom. You know what I mean? Put his, put a next gender in the schools. So the most high just shut every school down. Yeah, like, like, yeah. Huh? Not one school could right. open right now. Let's see, right? Let's see the ones that have morphed themselves and have to rely on Babylon medicine and shots and hormones, just like the shorties who can't come out because of the fucking nails. I'm sorry if I'm, you know. If, if the shorties who can't come out because of the nails and the hair, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, right now of what you think the other one's looking like right now that don't got the hormone pills? You feel me? What you think that shit looking like right now? Reality coming real. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I love it because after the makeup is off, you know, after the what I call fake up, you know, after the fake up is off, you know what I mean, we get to what's real again. And then people get to realize, wait a minute, I don't need none of this stuff. You know, all these things I've been depending on, I don't need it. They saying it's not an essential, not maybe, essential. maybe it's really isn't. But I not thought it was though, you know. Now you gotta think for yourself what's really essential for you to live. You know, y'all there got all the toilet tissue, right? They done bought up all the guns off the rack. None of them got a knife that they can cut open the fruit. None of them got a knife that can help them survive. Huh? They done bought every gun off the rack watching the white man. Thinking his war weapon gonna save you in these days and time. Yeah. The real reality of it is you gotta know how to cut these fruit. You know what I'm saying? Get into this fruit, get into what's real. You know what I'm saying? Knowing how to survive off this earth. Because your healing always been the earth. Your food is your medicine. You know? And your medicine is your food. You know what I mean? That's what they don't want you to see and realize. Because in these days and time, only reason why we're here because we eating healthy. We thinking healthy, of course. But we healthy eaters. You know what I mean? And these are the things that's making us healthy. It's things that come from the earth. Which y'all scared to even eat right now. They got a, this is America. America has a table, but it's like fruit, right? But you can't eat it because everything is plastic. That's America. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's real. You know what I mean? We've been accepting the false, fake things just because it looks pretty. You know what I mean? It, you think Hollywood was real. It got to the point everything they watch on TV they thought was real. But now when they see things in reality, they weren't thinking that was real. You see what I'm saying? So now, now reality starting to come forward again into what it really is. I said this is 2020. It's time to stay focused. You know what I mean? And this is what we're going to get to see right now, the clarity of what's really real now. You know what I mean? The real reality. Now, you wanted to go ahead now. You didn't want to talk to nobody. You just wanted to get on your phone and all that stuff there. And you ain't even get the chance to network and build with people and, and build these relationships, you know what I'm saying? So you have a solid team, a network of people you can really build with and relate to. You're on your own, you know what I'm saying? And that is the thing we gotta get our mind state out of. We gotta get our mind state out of just depending on people, you know what I'm saying? They can say that we can't do this thing together. Cause see this unity here? They don't want you to see. This is what they don't want you to see. Black man, black woman, and unity, you know what I'm saying, all on the same cause. No one say, we're going to survive this thing together. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? They want to divide us, make us think, say, oh, you're going to have to do this thing here. You're going to have to sell drugs. You're going to have to talk about these drugs, you know what I'm saying, in order to get up into this reality, society, fake world. You know what I mean? But they don't want to show you, no, we don't need that. What we need is to unify and be thinking for ourselves and building our own for ourselves. You know what I mean? True. That's what we need to be doing. And all, out of all the stupidness that's going on right now, you can't even spend your money with them people. That's the funniest thing about it. You can't even go out there and get the money of people because all their doors closed. <laughs> you know, they say the first rule of life is what? Self-preservation. Self-preservation, right? And they said that that comes in the order of food, clothing, and shelter, right? We put more emphasis on two than we do on one. And that's how you could tell, right? I remember 9-11 happened and we were doing Morris classes on Wednesdays, right, in Harlem. But the old ones on 138 and Lenox 
when the OGs OGs was there. So we was hanging on waiting for the the the, the OG that normally did the class to address the class and see what was he gonna say about nine eleven, especially how does it pertain to Moors and what it is that we, you know, how we moving and doing our research? Because I had just went to court the day before, yeah, right? Yeah. And, 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 and gave a business to one of the magistrates with that paperwork in my demonstration. So it was very real for me then. I'm like, I need to hear what's going on. Right. So he came and he did a whole sermon about everything starts on the one, Right? And he was like, he was just emphasizing to look to the one because they're going to try to have you look into the two. You know what I'm saying? And I'd be damned if the post 9-11 world isn't one where they got everyone starting on the two. You know what I'm saying? Hence the fact that their, their measurement of time is a second, right? They are not on the one step. The one step is rhythmic. They're on a the two step. You understand? They're out of time. They're off time. And they've allowed, they have not so much allowed, but they have... Because they're, quote, unquote, leading the way and our people are following the blind, right? Or Peter Piper with the offset flute, right? They're like, yeah, Kelly, we got it from here. Your services are no longer needed. You understand? They have the offset, offbeat, off-kilter flute. And, and the people are following that particular two, that, 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 that off rhythm. You understand? Everything starts on the one, so we put more fashion, more emphasis on the two, on the clothes, right? Niggas got a closet full. You can't eat that cotton. Look how much money was put into the drip. How much money put into the pool? Right. We can see how much money put into the housing, food, clothing, and shelter. We can, you know, shelters out here. We in Atlanta. Right. Niggas got digs. Yes, sir. You feel me? But you can fit about 500 people up in some of these cribs, mm -hmm. right? But there's only three or four people in there, you know what I mean? And they guarding that shit with choppers and everything. Y'all can't come in here. And because of the neighborhood association, they can't even grow land on the acres that they have in that crib. <laughs> or some of them have women got mansions that don't have no acres. They can't put on, they can't yeah. plant on they in the front of none of that, yeah. right? They just got a pretty fucking house. Yeah. Full of bricks. Yeah. Full of bricks. Yes, sir. That they're going to be hostaging. Yes, sir. Because they don't have no food. We put no emphasis on the one. So we are a, a, a community, a society of people who have lost the emphasis on the one. True, true, true. Right? It's true, and the one is the most. That's you feel the, me? That's the most hard. But the most is the food. Mm -hmm. Because the food is a direct descendant of the son where he gets his information from. Right. Right. So the way to communicate with the Most High would be through the food. Here's the mm -hmm. fact that even in their narrative, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. that the Yahshua had to come back as an herbivore, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Showing the communication, he said, I came to change Moses' law. That was a dietary law, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Came to change law, but more so dietary, True. right? I, you know, I was reading the... Uh, Aquarian gospel and shit. Dr. Sabe used to have it in the office all the time. Mm -hmm. And smoking with him, reading that book. And I looked up to him and I was like, you crazy? <laughs> and he looked back and he laughed. Close. You know what I'm saying? But I understood the analogy. Because in the book they were saying that Satan exists within the bowels of man. And I'm like, I don't know nobody else that's attacking. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What they're talking about is parasites, the disease, the lower energy, all that shit gets impacted in the bowels of man. I couldn't identify anybody else in my direct vicinity because I'm like, if, 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 that, if that energy exists, I have to be able to identify it around me because I'm finding myself in a narrative doing my own personal research. When I delved into the, my, my, my name is Paul, my mother named Paul, you know what I'm saying? And this happened to be the person that wrote, you know, the narrative that put that, uh, entity and perspective where the people are kind of somewhat lost today because he added the mystical aspects to it, right? So I'm looking at all of this, I'm delving into it. I read a book called The Hiram Key and it was even saying that the, the, the secret of masonry and the crystals is that they say, yo, he's a twin. Mm -hmm. They said he has a twin. They said it, and they said you can find about it in the book of St. Philip. 
right? Yeah, when to crack the code. And and the shape right. is called Thomas the Doubter. Thomas the Apostle. My brother's name is Philip Thomas. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at the codes. Mm -hmm. And then I start delving into the numbers and I start going through the book. And I'm like, all of the coding in the 44s, that, those are the parts that Paul wrote in the Bible. And they're the most, the hardiest parts. Like, I could just pull the stuff out of the Bible just with 44 and I would have a book on my own. Mm -hmm. There would be the main stuff that was said that would put you into action. Because 44 is Mars and that's action. 44 is blood. And the whole book is about blood and bloodlines. Mm -hmm. The whole book. True. Front and back is about blood and bloodlines. Mm -hmm. No doubt. You dig what I'm saying? No doubt. So I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm undressing the myth and, and the allegory and, the, and, and the, hidden, the hidden meaning of it all. And I'm like, yo. It's kind of deep, so I'm looking for that energy around me, and I see Savior, and I'm like, yo, you you bringing this information on this level, like, to me, that's tantamount. Let me respect it. Yes, sir. I'm like, let me respect it for what it is. I'm like, to me, what you're doing to me is like Christ-like. Not saying that you that, but putting you in that perspective, but I'm understanding the allegory because... I was just convinced from reading the book. I'm like, yo, this is a book talking about now and in the future. Mm -hmm. Not really talking about the past. In my perspective, I felt like it was preparing and talking about a story that was yet to come. So I was convinced. I'm like, look, if, if, if there's any time and if this exists, that we can, it got to be us. True, true, true. I'm like, what else am I here? Right, right. What are you talking about? No doubt, no doubt. I ain't throwing this one away. I ain't come to spectate. True, true, true. We moving this something. Yeah. True. I'm like, yo. I feel you on that. Well, this is just how I develop my vision, right? Mm -hmm. To be like, what were they talking about? I'm convinced that what I'm looking at is what so early on in my travels and my transformation coming from where I came from and my original vision was developed in them streets. When I knew that we had the mind where we was outwitting the white man every single day. Mm -hmm. Right? That was my vocation. Mm -hmm. Right? Boost. My vocation was I had to go into the devil's world and take from him. In order to eat, I had to go into, into the, 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 pen, the, the den of the lion, take food out of the lion's mouth, and get up out of there every single day. True. True. I faced him every single day and defeated him. You dig what I'm saying? Sure. Until you slip in, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Of course. But that's even so that was even a blessing in the sky because of the information that I learned mm -hmm. about myself going through that hell. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Incarceration. Mm -hmm. Coming up out of that. You dig yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And having an opportunity to reset. To get a little bit of time, because that's when I got to read, you know what I'm saying, these books. Mm -hmm. I would have had no other time to read these books. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I had the opportunity to read these books and then see the books in real time. Because now you got to use this shit. Now you got to use it in real time. Right it ain't just enough to read it. You read it and it's on you right away. Right. Right? The test come right away. Boom! Yes, sir. Niggas! Mm -hmm. Police! Mm -hmm. Right? The pressurized condition and situation of that. And you got to use your mind to get out of it. Right? right. Sometimes you got to use your brawn and your body. But it's mostly a, a, a mental, like an intellect situation going on. It's a grand game of chess. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So you, these are, this is your proven ground, you know? And, and, and for some of us, yes, this is our rites of passage for those reasons, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. it's the hero's journey. The you got to go through hell to get right. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm just, I'm just going through these, these, these things and I'm bearing witness and I'm holding on to my own personal conviction to say, nobody can tell me, I know. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's, that's where all of this came from, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. holding on to that conviction mm -hmm. and yeah. believing enough in us to say that if I know what I know about me, that must mean that there's other amongst me. You know, there must be 144,000. And we, True. we can do it. Can. If not us, then who? Or if not, we can set the seed, plant the foundation and show the children how it's done. By making a grand sacrifice, right? Why live a lame life? And these niggas gonna go out without a vein? Sure. Like, no. You gotta show. Like, take a whole leg out. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Take a whole she leg off of Babylon. If you ain't gonna slew him, take an arm at least with you. 
You feel me? All right, shout out. Take a right. fucking eye. Yeah, man. You know, go back with a souvenir. Let's get it back. Let's get it black. Just saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Think Champs, we back. And uh, we just want to thank our guest, Blue. Good looking for coming out, giving us that wisdom all day. We're waiting. Whatever yeah. you need, yeah, King. Thanks, man. You know what I mean? It's still perfect timing, man. Yes, Sealing yes. up properly, man. And you know what I'm saying? We got an expression over here. Yes, yes, Good looking yes, out. Well, yes, You'll be back on the show. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So we going to holler at you. Yes. And uh, this is another powerful edition of Think Champs, Black Power.